You know, Jesus always exceeds your expectation. Always. Though some, some, some mothers came to Jesus in the Gospels for Jesus to, and it says specifically, for Jesus to lay his hands on their, on their children. But when Jesus saw the children, he embraced them. He always exceeds our expectation. Amen. He doesn't answer our prayers. He answers us exceeding abundantly above. Oh, we can ask God thing. Some years ago when I was much younger, I asked God because I had a few failed relationships and I didn't want to, you know, another session of that, another season of that. I said, God, give me a, a girl that, I didn't even ask anymore. Before that, I asked, all the qualities must be this, must be that, must be this, must be that. I read a book, a Christian book that says, unless you are clear cut, you know, right? Don't be surprised what you get. Oh, I asked for this, for that, you know? So finally, when I had a lot of disappointments, broken heart here, broken heart on the other side also, I finally said, God, you, you know best who I need. But I'm just asking you for a life partner. It's time for me to get married, Lord. Give me a life partner. And he answered, exceeding abundantly above all. You can ask something. The other day, I was, honestly, I was looking at her and I was telling myself, she's really beautiful. And she's even beautiful inside. You know, the way she does things, the way she, she's amazing help to me. But even the years pass, I see her, she's getting more and more beautiful inside out. So it's, God knew what I'll need two years from now, but teenagers, I want this type now. Can sing, can sing, can sing, can dance, you know? <laughs> but then when you talk to them, they're like, ah, duh, what did you just say? God knows what you need 10 years from now. Trust Him. Trust Him. It's not, God will never give you someone like, hey, nobody wants her. No, take lah, take, you know? <laughs> What, what do you think of your father? What, 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 do you think, what kind of heart do you think he has for you? No, nobody wants her. No, so you take, take, nobody wants him. No. Just take her, take her. Sacrifice, lay down. You, you were saying the other day, like, Lord, I lay down my life as sacrifice. No, no, no. Demonstrate. <laughs> God is not the kind. There's a fullness. God doesn't have to take from A to give to B. You know, doesn't have to take from you. You don't have to be jealous because every time you see someone blessed, don't think that you got lesser. There's a small, skimpy, stingy mentality. Of His fullness have all we received. He can bless all of you and still have plenty left over. In my Father's house, there's more and to spare. Amen. No, friend. You can never, you, you can never outgive Him. You can never outgive Him. Amen.